Well, a jury has been seated for the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, of course, is the man charged in the death of George Floyd. ABC 6 News reporter Mackenzie Davis joins us live here in the studio tonight with the latest breaking down the jury and, well, what to expect now. Mackenzie? Ross and Laura, the final juror for the Derek Chauvin trial was chosen this morning, making the jury fully seated. The 15th juror will be excused on Monday. Why? Well, the point of having a 15th juror is to make sure 14 jurors show up when the trial starts Monday. The 15th and final juror is described as a white man in his 20s, and he's an accountant. He says he'll be moving out of the state at the end of May, so he was surprised he was summoned for jury. He believes the duration Chauvin had his knee on Floyd's neck was, quote, unnecessary, and it should have taken four officers to respond to the initial call. Here is the makeup of the jury. There are six men and nine women. Nine of the jurors self-identify as white, four as black, and two as multiracial. Some include a nurse, a chemist, a social worker, a client advocate in commercial insurance business, an internet technology specialist, a retired grandmother with an undergraduate degree in childhood psychology, a woman who said she is, quote, super excited to be on the case, and an accountant. It took more than two weeks for jury selection to be completed. There will be 12 jurors with two alternates. Like I said, the 15th juror will be dismissed when trial begins if the rest of the jury remains intact. Attorneys and judges worked through more than 100 people. Most were dismissed because they acknowledged strong views about the video showing the incident between Floyd and the former officers. Opening statements are expected to, to begin on Monday at 9 a.m. Ross and Laura.